Good morning, I'm John Panik with the Mojave Valley Daily News and this is your Daily Dose for Thursday, October 15th. The Daily Dose is brought to you by the Tri-State Radiology Center. At Tri-State Radiology Center, their experienced imaging and radiology professionals put your needs first. They are proud to provide a high quality level of customer service, medical experience, and commitment to quality for all patients. All right, got my coffee, black like God intended it. Let's uh, dig in and see what's going on. All right, our top story, Veterans Parade is still a go. You know, yesterday we reported that the Colorado River Women's Council has canceled the Boombox Parade. Um, I'll tell you more about that in a second, but we got some news yesterday that the Veterans Parade had been canceled. Turns out it was not. They just, uh, they've got a whole list of things that they have to do. Um, some of them are gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but that's what it is. It has to do with how many people can be on a float, masking, uh, how many people can line the streets and, and social distancing for that. There'll be no more tossing out candy or flags or anything for it. So. There's a whole long story in here about how that has to be addressed. Uh, if you're interested in going, um, please check that out. Uh, Patsy Walsh, the husband of um, Paul Walsh, who the parade is named after, who passed a couple years ago, she's, uh, she lays it out in there pretty well on what, what's going on with that. Uh, census field operations end today. So the census uh, is something that had been going on since well, all year, it had uh, some of the field operations portions of it, um, the door-to-door -door checking for anybody who hadn't responded to it. That was extended a couple of times. That ends today. So if you haven't filled out your census, first of all, shame on you. But second of all, <clears throat> you can still do it online today before midnight, but that's it. Um, they talked to Toby Cotter in here. He's got a quote. Uh, he seems confident that nearly everyone in Bullet City has been counted. Um, so, check that out. The county reported five new COVID cases, but uh, they amended the total count because there were some changes that um, they get a lot of their information from the Department of Health Services and uh, Health Services updated their numbers. So now the actual total, according to them, is 4,021 cases, 228 deaths, and 3,609 recoveries. And another officer involved shooting up in Kingman. Not sure what's going on up there in the wild, wild west, but somebody called the police on a man who was attacking his neighbor's bushes with a machete. Um, they showed up and couldn't find him. Then two hours later, that same person called and said, now the guy is shooting a rifle at uh, well, he had shot into the other person's house, the reporting person's house. Police showed up. Uh, he went inside. His name is Jason Arpad Peters. Jason Peters, 45. So he went back into the house, and they spent a couple hours trying to get him out. Um, he was shooting at police, shooting at neighbors. Uh, police cars were hit. Um, one time he shot out, and they shot back. And so they're not sure if, uh, if that's what killed him or if, he, if it was self-inflicted, but he is no longer with us. Um, so we'll find out more about that as we get down the road a little bit. We got a nice long story here on uh, Trump, President Trump and uh, Joe Biden. Um, there's some question about Biden and his relationship with the Ukraine. So you can, uh, you can check that out. Cartoons, those are always fun. All right, here's something we're uh, we're pretty excited about. Um, we'll have there's a video that'll be up today. It's actually probably up already um, about a new program that we just started. It's our athlete of the week. We're going to start doing every week um, on Thursdays. It's going to come out our athlete of the week for the week before, and then at the end of the month we're going to do athlete of the month. And that'll be up, I think, the first Tuesday of every month. So we had our first one yesterday. Uh, we went out and, and talked to him. And it is Dust Devil running back Zach Hammett. Zach last week 
There's a nice picture of him in action, and there's a headshot of him out there. Uh, Zach last week in their win against Kingman Academy, Zach had five touchdowns. Two of them were on punt returns, and three of them were rushes. Uh, he had six carries for 75 yards and 145 punt return yards. Plus, this young man is a three has a 3.3 grade point average. So, congratulations, Zach. Like I said, you can go to our YouTube channel, and there's an interview with him and, and his coach, uh, Coach Clark, down there at River Valley, and check that out. There's a nice picture of uh, of Allison Wheatcroft. Uh, she's one of the varsity uh, River Valley varsity girls volleyball players, um, and there she is with her mom and her sister Fiona and her mother Jamie. Um, so being celebrated there. Weather, it's going to be a little windy today and tomorrow, uh, but high high around 100 uh, both days, uh, but still perfect. We can, uh, we're, we're good at dealing with the W around here for sure. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. Uh, you can get more information on these stories. There's a lot more than what I covered uh, in today's paper or you can go to hobbydailynews.com and, uh, and read more on these. Remember, this is brought to you by the Tri-State Radiology Center. The Tri-State Radiology Center offers same or next day appointments and they accept most insurances, including Medi-Cal. They have a wide open MRI and offer digital x-rays with your reports ready in 24 hours. Call them today for an appointment at 928-460-7226. Daily Dose and Valley Voices are now available to stream on the Anchor app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and more. So the links to these streaming services will be in the description below. Valley Voices, I encourage you to check it out. Tomorrow we're going to be interviewing all three of the writing candidates for the Crushed School Board. So hear what they're about, what their visions are, and why they are asking for your vote. Um, voting is still open down at the Mojave County Library on Hancock. Um, so if you want to go do some early voting, head on down there. All right, everyone, have a great Thursday. I hope to see you tomorrow.